Good afternoon. My name is Ali Fowl. I'm 16 years old and a student at Centennial High School and a former student at Mayfield High School. I was in the kitchen when my mom asked me what I thought about these cannabis buffer zones. I couldn't believe that my elected officials are not only allowing but encouraging drug use in our city. I'd like to bring attention on how this affects our youth. So I decided to do my own research and I found that it was true. So I'm here to say that I've had first-hand experiences with kids younger than me who have flunked out of school, went to rehab, and or spent hundreds of dollars on an industry that you are permitting. And you may be thinking that dispensaries don't affect minors, and I'm here to tell you that that's false. Someone that I was close to, who is 15, was able to buy weed without being ID'd because she looks of age. She was 15 and she became a regular at that dispensary. She was buying weed for herself and her friends, and this is only one way that minors are obtaining pot and other harder substances. I could go into story after story about people my age that are using harder substances that are causing hallucinations or dangerous trips, or ones like nicotine that you could buy at a gas station that you could end up with an eating disorder or lung cancer. Mayor Pro Tem, I would really like to appreciate what you said about the youth, and I, it saddens me that no one else mentioned that, um, but more of you mentioned the decrease of sales that clusters would cause instead of mentioning the teens. Thank you. Thank you. Next. Anybody else on this side? <laughs>